Hey guys, so I just arrived in Cyprus yesterday and I've headed to a tourist resort called Larnaca, which is the bi third biggest city in Cyprus and also a very popular tourist destination. So I'm starting the tour on the, um, on the promenade of Larnaca and this prom promenade is called Finicudes Beach and this is where it all goes on. Uh, this is where all the, uh, the bars are and the restaurants and also the row behind. You can see them right up and down here. Here's the ocean basket on the left and there's all big high apartments lining the promenade and very, very beautiful palm trees up and down here as well. If you look to the left side. So my hotel's straight ahead down there and you turn left when you see the big wheel uh, just by the harbour. The harbour's also straight ahead there if you want to have a look at the yachts. I do, do recommend a look at uh, Larnaca Harbour as well. It is impressive. And just behind here, if you go down the alleyway, you've got all bars and restaurants there on the prom too. It's a bit hidden away from there. So Cyprus is a former British colony, so there's a very big British influence here. Lots and lots of British tourists come here every single year. And um, Larnaca here is a Greek city, so uh, the name Larnaca, uh, it, its origin is Greek. Uh, the population is 72,000 people right now in 2023. But that population just goes absolutely massive during the summertime. All the British come here, lots of Russians come here. There's lots of Ukrainians here at the moment as well. Um, with what's happened over there, lots of them have come to live here. Um, a few of the waitresses in the bar last night were from the Ukraine actually. But um, there's people here from many, many different countries. Oh, there's a lovely terrace there. I mean, it's six-ish at night as well, and you can still sit outside. I'm out in my shorts and t-shirt right now, and I don't feel cold. And you've got a playground area there to the right side for children. And people are playing games outside, these girls there. Yeah, lots of things to do here for children. And here you've got the, uh, the boxing machine, the punch machine to see how hard you can punch. So that's like a competition people do when they come here. And it tells you the strength of your punch. So you can see who's the winner with you and your mates. Uh, here's an arcade with all games, a slot machine arcade with games on and stuff. And on the left side, we have Cafe Nero, uh, as you have everywhere in every city in Europe. You have all the chains up and down here, you know, like you've got Burger King here. You can see on the right, you've got Starbucks. There's lots and lots of chains up and down this prom. So here is Starbucks Larnica on the left. I might take a coffee there actually later on because in Krakow, I go to Starbucks every single day. I do like it. And there's, there's Coffee Corner. We also have one of them called Coffee Corner in Krakow as well in Poland where I live. So here's a, is a sushi bar and grill. They're offering a promotion outside here. All you can eat, 20 plus dishes, and you pay 19 euros. But you can only do that at lunchtime. They have, some of these restaurants have a lunchtime menu with a lunchtime promo. And then you've got all the side streets off here. We've got the, um, the Las Palmeras Hotel there on the right side. And if you go straight ahead to the left, there's a few bars and coffee shops there too. So this is like the second line of the promenade really because um, the, 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 you cross the road and you get to the beach and um, that's the main beach area that I showed you in the previous videos earlier on. So I'm just showing you this line here where you've got all these bars and restaurants. There's one here to the left side called Vivid. It looks really nice actually. Nice decoration there. I might try it later on for something to eat. I'm just thinking where to go for dinner later on, actually. Um, it's McDonald's on the right side. <laughs> McDonald's Larnaca. And they have a nice terrace, actually. That would be nice for the, uh, for the summertime, that terrace there at McDonald's. Um, so the capital city of Cyprus is called Nicosia, and 20% of the Cypriot people live there in Nicosia. Uh, the population of Cyprus is 1.2 million people. 
Oh, looks like there's a nice bar there to the left side as well. Looks very cozy with the TV on. It'd be nice for the evening. Let's swing the camera around. We got there. That one's called the brewery. Let me have a look. There we go. So that's a pub called the brewery. Because it's the winter time, it's the low season now. That's why it's a little bit quiet. But um, they said they got busy on um, Thursday and Friday and Saturday, but it's more like weekends now, really, in the winter season. So let's have a look at this one. What's going on inside this one? Um, might check it out later on, actually. It's nice how they show pictures of the food on the menus here. On the right, we have the, the Hagen Dars Cafe. There's lots and lots of cafes here if you like coffee shops and cafes. And this one has a really lovely terrace as well. It looks quite extravagant, really. Uh, fro fro frozen yogurt shop there, so it's interesting. They have lots of variety here. The most famous DJ Fridays. Yeah, and we've got Fridays like you have in uh, every city here in Europe. <laughs> I do quite like Fridays, actually. I've been to Fridays in many, many places. Also got a nice terrace here. And it's great because it's the winter and it's easy to get a seat. So let's have a look in the Fridays. That's good. And they've got the football on the TV too. And the next one is another chain. It's uh, KFC. And it's nice because the KFC also has a terrace outside. So if you want cheap fast food, you can go there. And then you've got all the alleyways that go off here. what pubs this one next oh here's another pub they show all the Premier League football here by the way guys uh, they have lots of sports bars here too and the people here they, they do watch Premier League it's got a big British influence here uh, straight ahead you've got a pub called the meeting pub and it's a grill bar as well so let's have a look a bit closer Oh, that's nice. You can sit outside on the high seats and the barrels, watch the people go by. So there we go. So the great thing is when you come in the winter, you can get a seat anyway. Um, I know it's like still early evening now and they come out a bit later here, but you know, you can, um, you can definitely get a seat in the bars because it's just chock-a-blocker. It's so busy in the summertime here. All the British and the Russians are here, you see, so... So it gets so, so busy. And you've got the retirement people that come out here to chill out for the winter time, for the nice warm weather. It's one of the warmest places in the whole of Europe here. The most popular places for tourists really in um, Cyprus are um, Ayanapa, Paphos, Limassol, and here in Larnaca as well. So. On the right side, we have a restaurant called The Truck Inn. Let me have a look, show you inside. There's lots of variety of uh, restaurants here. And they're displaying pictures of the food outside, which is nice. I like the look of the tiger prawns, for example. And the fish looks fantastic then at the bottom left. When I go abroad, I like to try seafood and fish. And in places like this, so I'll have some seafood tonight. Let's have a look at the prices on the menu. Um, so you can have a gyros donna for nine euro fifty. You can have a pork one for nine euro fifty. Chicken souvlaki for ten euros. You can have a pork chop for eleven euros. Uh, a meat platter for two for sixteen euros, or the lamb chops for fourteen euros. And let's have a look at the fish. This is what I like: the seafood and the fish. So the seafood platter is twenty-two euros. Sea bass is 14 euros. That one might be nice, actually. Um, and codfish and chips for 9 euro 50, which might be nice, too. Uh, it does look lovely on the pictures. And this place is called the Tuck Inn. So I'd certainly I'll probably try that for dinner, actually, later on. I'm just thinking where I should go for my dinner tonight. So the whole promise line with these palm trees on the left 
Um, it's a lovely place to go for a walk in the evening. Um, if you want to gamble, you can go straight ahead there into the, um, the gambling shop, to the betting shop. Let's have a look close at this restaurant. So this one, uh, let's have a look at the prices here. Uh, a portion is 11 euro 50 for a pork souvlaki. So that's like a kebab. A chicken kebab is 11 euro 90. And you can have a Greek burger for 12 euros. Um, let's see what else have they got? They've got the, um, the fried calamari for 11 euro 50. And a mixed platter for 27 and a half euros. So we'll have a look through the window, let's see. Right opposite, we have the beach and our big yellow sandy beaches here. The air is so fresh. Um, in terms of alcohol, uh, the prices are not cheap here. I noticed a cocktail was about nine euros, eight euros in some of the bars and a pint of beer is about five euros. So um, in the west of Cyprus, it was actually cheaper in Paphos than here, but um, it is really nice here. And, just so you can see inside some of the restaurants here in terms of the design and everything. And this one called this one is called Alexander Cyprus Specialities. So they have souv souvlaki here for €6.50 and a moussaka for €9.90. Oh, and they have English breakfast as well with a coffee for €5.20. That's a good deal with a coffee as well. I might try that actually. Yeah, I might give this a go. Let's have a look close at the menu. You can get fish and chips for nine euro eighty. Calamari rings, similar price to the other place, ten euro sixty. King prawns are sixteen euros, or the white bait is ten euros, and the grilled salmon is fifteen euros. It's nice how they they display the prices outside, so you know what you're paying here. Um, I recommend you try the grilled halloumi. That is um, a dish here from Cyprus and uh, the Cypriot brandy is very good here too. It's another restaurant and it's the middle of January guys and all the restaurants are open so there's plenty of places where you can eat here if you do come out here in the winter. Um, I recommend the winter's the best time to come here because the weather's just lovely. Um, you'll get plenty of winter sun. Um, if you come for a week you'll get six days of sun probably. Um, this time I'm here for two weeks. I'm going to travel around Cyprus. I'm going to see Ayanapa and Nicosia. But this place was perfect because it's only 10 minutes from the airport to Lonica City. Lonica Airport's the biggest airport in Cyprus. Uh, here's a Chinese restaurant called Feng's House. Let's have a look at the menu. So a soup is four euro 30. And a main course would be about 10 euros, nine euros, 10 euros for most of the main courses here. And if you're looking at fish, it's about 12 euros. Uh, across opposite to the left, they do water sports. If you want to, a lot of people come here for diving actually. Cyprus is famous for diving. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col. And that's Col with a C-O-L. Thank you very much guys, bye bye.